Now, I know this is something that most people will never use, but if you have a grinder sewage pump in your house, housing development, you have to pump uphill. In my case, we didn't have enough slope to get to the main line, so we're actually pumping, but we're pumping downhill. You have a grinder pump. Well, I chose a Liberty pump, been very happy with it. Last night, it quit running. This alarm box went off. Anyway, as I diagnosed it, found out that the floats were bad. So it's been kind of a bad deal, trying to get the parts, doing all this stuff. We can't use the restroom in our house. We can't use our showers. Until an electrician friend came over today and instructed me on how to activate the pump um, with and bypass the floats. And you can do so in this control panel. Um, so obviously you gotta have the breakers on. So my pump and my control panel are now activated. I, I have these screws undone. When you open this, and be careful, this is not something you wanna do carelessly. But you'll see here, um, there is a switch here that says hand and it says auto and it says off. Obviously, normally it's switched to auto for the floats, but to run it, watch what happens when I push the hand button. Watch that thing on the left. See how those um, solenoids moved and connected the main 220 volt to the pump manually. And so had I known that, I would have saved a day of you know, running to another place to use the restroom, uh, another building um, could have, you know, been using our sewage pump this whole time manually. So that's a great little feature. And I called Liberty Pumps today. They never told me anything about it. And so I really would have loved to have known that. So if your sewage pump is not working and it is the floats that are faulty, you can use that uh, to turn it on.